Star Wars fans, action figure collectors, welcome back finally to another Star Wars figure review. It's, I've got a, I've got an absolute stack of videos to record today, so I'm going to do my very best to get through them. Um, yeah, it's just time has been poor <laughs> of late, so I'm really excited to sit down and talk about some of these new figures. Um, wanted to kick off the bat with probably my probably most highly sought after, highly await, awaited figure, uh, Cal Kestis from Jedi Survivor. Uh, the gaming greats. I'm not going to go spend too much time with the packaging, but because it's uh, it's not that great. <laughs> the figure itself is awesome, but um, yeah, not going to spend too much time with the packaging. It is, you know, the plastic free yada 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 is number 17 in the gaming greats. Um, hopefully, you can't hear the dogs in the background, but if you can, I apologise. But yeah, here's Cal. Um, oh, I absolutely love the game. I've already finished it. Um, be trying for that platinum <laughs> platinum trophy on the PlayStation Five. But uh, yeah, this figure is really, really nice. Um, a nice upgrade from the uh, Jedi Fallen Order version of Cal. Obviously, he's grown up a few years. It's sort of five years after after that one. And uh, yeah, he still comes with BD, which is nice. Unfortunately, what they didn't do is give him somewhere to put him on the back. Um, you know, it's not an easy thing to work out. I kind of like what they did with the deluxe cow from Fall Fallen Order with the poncho, and they had a couple of little slots for his feet to sort of stick in, but uh, sadly not with this one, but um, that's okay. I think the lightness is you know, really makes up for it. Um, tilt up a little bit there. Oh, they've absolutely nailed that. I think he looks fantastic. Accessory wise, he does come with his lightsaber. Sort of a tidied up version of his Fallen Order lightsaber from his master, Jaro Tapal. Lightsaber, the blade is removable obviously which is always handy a little peg on his belt so that works I think I would have preferred it to be around the corner a little bit more onto his side as opposed to the front um, yeah having it there sort of hinders any sort of leg articulation but I guess you can sort of pivot around and work around that but again not a big deal it does come with his blaster, which is a option in the game. You can use use one of his stances as a sort of a blaster uh, lightsaber combo, which is cool. It's actually a really nice looking blaster. I love all the customizations you can do in the game um, with the blaster and the and the lightsaber. The, the stances I probably use the most out of you know you get to choose two. Um, it's probably double blade. Um, I feel like that's sort of a natural carry-on from the first game in terms of, you know, keeping that cannon feeling. <laughs> that's just me. And um, I sort of mixed up between dual wield and um, the heavy crossguard saber, which I'd love to see Hasbro do a version of the crossguard lightsaber with the, uh, you know, the forks on the side, the vents on the side, and a slightly longer blade. Um, that's actually a lot of fun to use in the game. It's a little bit slower, but it's still awesome. But yeah, really good likeness of uh, Cameron Monaghan there. I think he looks fantastic. I love this outfit. It's just so simple, um, but screams Star Wars straight away. Obviously with just the, you know, the sort of pull across and the flap that comes down. Very reminiscent of J Jedi Luke. <clears throat> but just all these utility belts and pouches and, you know, little bits like this, the cylinders on the arm his wrist gauntlet communicator thing um, I know just one small detail from the game they have missed is he does have a small tattoo on the inside of his arm but again they may not have been privy to that in the uh, concept art making the figure but yeah he's got all the articulation you could ever want poses really nicely BD again is the same as the one we've had previously had would be nice to find somewhere to put him but you know having him on the on the ground you know next to him on the shelf would look 
just as good. I think it looks good. Um, you know, even if you get a bit of blue tack, you could probably sit him up on the arm. But that's all good. Two, two are fantastic the way they are. I look forward to seeing whether they, uh, I don't know, some more characters would be great. I think uh, Merrin would be a fantastic addition to the line. Um, among with among some of the other characters from from the new game, I think it'd be fantastic to have a little bit more of a lineup than just just Cal. Um, but you know, I'll take it. But yeah, I really like this figure. I hope you get a chance to pick it up yourself. Please let me know what you think. Did you play the game? What do you think of the story? It's sort of. Yeah, real hit hit the highs for me. I loved Fallen Order, and I think they really sort of carried on with that perfectly. So yeah, there's Cal from Jedi Survivor. And a couple of bunch of new reviews coming, so no shortage of content for the next couple of weeks, <laughs> which is great. Um, but yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much for watching. May the force be with you.